Hi, my peeps. Hi, my peeps. Good night. How you all doing? Yeah, your day's finished, but mine is just beginning. Yes. Had a good sleep for the Sabbath. I just slept, 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 slept. Oh, my God. I slept Friday and I slept Saturday. I needed it. Oh, yes. So now I'm getting ready. Put my shoes on to get out the house. But how you all doing? I'm just checking in. How y'all doing? God is good all the time and all the time. God is good, isn't it? Oh, my Jesus. You know, I, I was listening to some, watching some TikTok and some lives today. And you know what I've come to realize? And I, I mean, we should know this because the word of God says it. But you know, anywhere good is, evil always try to present itself. Always. No matter how somebody's doing good, somebody always trying to come and put some dirt on it and put some stink on it, you know, and have something negative to say, you know. And, you know, sometimes the other thing is I just can't understand as human being, why we can't just get it right. I ask myself that daily, why? And it brings back to the scripture where Paul said, the good that I will to do, I do not do, but the bad I will not to do, that is what I practice. This sin, this sin flesh, this sin man in us, oh my God, he just won't rest and he won't leave us alone. And I also I was watching a, a couple's court with a minister, oh my God. And the things the minister said he did with his wife and what he was encouraging people to do. I'm like, far-fetched from what we're taught to encourage people to do and be on the right track. And and it just, it's not in judgment, you know. I'm just, I'm just more aware that none of us is good. No matter what, some of us are self-righteous and believe that because you don't do the sin that I do we good but none of us is good not one of us only he who is in heaven is good and sin is sin there's no big sin little sin your sin better than my sin my, mine is less than yours no sin a sin and it grieved god but i thank god for grace and mercy go because if it wasn't for grace and mercy none of us would be here you know none of us at all and the other thing too, you know, all these things is coming up all at once in my head, thinking about this thing, you know, sometimes we give people good advice and about we can't give it to ourselves. When we're in that situation, we do the opposite of what we tell people. You know, we, 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 till the shoes is on the other foot, we know not what we're going to do. So we shouldn't judge. We should encourage, encourage, turn around. Yeah, man, support and encourage. Because sometimes when a person fall into the pit and they're not no support, they stay in the pit. And they stay in the pit so long that they think they're not worthy of anything else. So the mindset is the pit is where they belong. But iron sharpen it, iron. And if we can encourage each other to say, get up, man, rise up. This too shall pass. And tomorrow you're going to face another mountain. But you have to climb over it and get past it because there's mountain in our ways. There's mountain in our way. And we have to conquer them. But for every time you go over the mountain, man, your thigh leg gets stronger. And you build more muscles and you're better. You reach to the part that you can run over the mountains ahead of you. Not just walk and crawl and off and puff, but run. Because each experience is going to strengthen you. You understand? Go, go and change you. Go do something different in you that's if you learn the lessons you know what i mean so i'm gonna say tata because i'm running late yeah and i don't like to be late i'm walking tonight i'm not taking a cab so god bless you know? i'll see you all tomorrow if god spare and have a wonderful saturday night remember jesus loves you and so do i bye bye bye, -bye. Mwah!